Hey, Robert. Hey, Fatmata. Dr. J, I got the message today from Robert about beta alanine, and I figured it was just easier for me to record this quick little message that I could send to you. So I did post my own PowerPoint for nutritional ergogenic aids, and I'm going to be reading from, just ignore that, I'm going to be reading from beginning at slide 29, if you want. My guess is you might be overthinking it, but I'm your woman. So the ergogenic aid is called beta alanine. What is beta alanine? Well, beta alanine is a non-essential amino acid. So it's an amino acid. It already exists. But maybe if we bring in more as an ergogenic aid, maybe it can help us. So it's a non-essential amino acid, in case you're wondering. It's found naturally. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think Dr. T is going to ask you this, but in case you're wondering, it's found naturally in beef, chicken, and fish, right? It's a non-essential amino acid, but it's also found in food. Okay. So how this relates to ergogenic aids and athletic performance is because... Beta alanine is a precursor for something called carnosine. Carnosine. That's what you that's what you asked me about. So basically, when we bring in beta alanine, or when we have beta alanine, it combines with a chemical that doesn't really matter so much, but it combines with a chemical called histidine, or you might see it called L-histidine. So beta alanine, the amino acid, combines with this chemical called L-histidine, and what this forms is something called carnosine. Now, why do we care about that? We care because carnosine is an example of a buffer. Carnosine is an example of a buffer, right? And what this means is it helps to regulate pH, helps to maintain buffers. What buffers do is they help to maintain our normal blood pH. Buffers are really important, by the way, and we have certain chemical buffer systems, but we also have what's called protein buffer systems. So here's an example of a protein buffer system. It's a buffer system that is composed of some proteins by way of beta alanine combining with L-histidine to form carnosine. Carnosine is the actual buffer. How this could help during activity? Let's keep the pink, huh? Well, during activity, our blood is likely to become more acidic. So with exercise, our blood becomes more acidic. Oh, if I could spell, I'd be good, right? our blood becomes more acidic. And that could be a problem. By the way, why does it become more acidic? Because of buildup of lactate, if we're burning a lot of glucose for energy, or it could be a buildup of ketones if we're burning a lot of fat for energy, but it's more likely, it's more likely to be a buildup of lactate right? So potentially, if we build up too much acid, it could turn our blood acidic, which would have very negative consequences. So we rely on our body's natural buffer systems. So when our blood becomes more acidic, we rely on buffers to maintain blood pH or to buffer against significant pH changes. 
it's kind of a similar theory as taking in more sodium bicarbonate. Um, sodium bicarbonate acts as a buffer kind of in a different way. But So the idea is if we take this beta alanine, it can help to form something called carnosine. And then carnosine acts as a buffer. So when we produce more acid during exercise, if we have more of this natural buffer, maybe it can help maintain our blood pH better. Um, from my research, um, studies show that when people take this supplement, it does increase carnosine levels in the blood, but it doesn't lead to a change in performance. And I'm not surprised because honestly, our body's natural pH systems are really, or P, or excuse me, our body's natural buffer systems are really, really good. All right, hopes that, hope, hope that helps. I am available. If you have questions, you can come in tomorrow, um, but you can also ask me a question and I can record a video. Cool?